Whoa. I'm saying. So you imagine you got, if you have the surround sound, can of beans, then you have smell of vision and you're Dave. You are Dave. And he's rich, and this is the Midnight Movie. And it is. Good, good, good save. <laughs> anyway, uh, welcome to the show tonight. We've got... You don't have a microphone. You have to hold that up to a microphone. Don't mess with him. He's wore out. Yeah, I know. He's tired. We're you saw that one just, skit. Yeah, I, I... To be perfectly honest, I think we're all a little tired. If you get my meaning. I feel anyway, good. Uh, I feel tonight's good. music. Uh, I think that'll pass. This Can we get century. this going? I want to get into this. Uh, that's Russian. what I was trying to do. Anyway, uh, tonight's uh, movie well, will also be showing you uh, some of our first segments. Ray Glasser. Beg your pardon? Of Ray, Ray. Glasser. Ooh. Oh, Ray I almost Glasser. got ahead of myself. Next week is, right? Yeah, never mind. All right, I'm just, just don't worry about it. I'll let you know what you need to know when you need to know it. So why don't you just go to the first part of Battle Beyond the Sun? And uh, yeah, that'll do it. With John Carradine, right? No. Are you sure? He's pretty, always pretty. Amazing. Pretty sure. I think it's all Russian guys. So, man, you know what? I just got back from vacation, and I was checking on my TV. I miss a lot of my favorite shows. You ever do that? Like, you know, your favorite shows, and you forget to record them, and then, you know. Oh, all the time. Yeah. Well, you know what? Back in the '70s, I had a huge VCR, and I used to record some stuff like that. But you know, you miss a show. And you can never see it again. But I guess I know where we can go if we want to ever see a show from the 70s all the way to whenever. We can come here to Mr. Ray Glasser's house. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I'm not bet. He's got like every thing not ever. Not every, but a lot. This is 37 years of collecting. 37 years of collecting. And these are all betas, by the way. All beta max. Now, what's the difference between a beta for somebody like me who yeah. doesn't know from a beta from a VHS? I'm a VHS man. Beta came out first, number one, 1975, and it's a smaller cassette than a VHS. VHS came out about a year and a half, two years later. VHS offered two hours on a tape. Beta offered one hour for the same price. Now, what would you buy? The VHS. That's the main reason why beta lost the format wars. But uh, that's the main difference. Beta had better quality because the head spun faster in the machine, gave you a better quality picture. VHS gave you more recording time, which most people ate up, and they said, well, gee, I'm going to go with VHS. So that's why Beta lost out. All right. So, so now to let everybody know, and I guess this is the term I've heard, you are called the videoholic. <laughs> I call myself the video You're the video. Kind of like alcoholic. You're addicted. <laughs> okay. And I've been addicted to this since the 70s. When, did, when exactly did you start? Well, I got my first Betamax in June of 1976, because back then I was working in a restaurant uh, at night, 5 to 1 in the morning, and I couldn't watch TV, obviously. I worked six nights a week, and I could not watch TV. This offered me a way to record TV shows while I'm working, come home at 1.30 in the morning and watch them. Then I had a choice to either save them or reuse the tape and just erase the show, and I, I've done both. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to share what your first beta machine cost you back in 1976 you 76. said? 76. My first beta match cost me $1,260 <laughs> without the timer. Jeez. The timer was an accessory for 40 bucks so 1300 bucks for a one hour beta match recorded one hour tapes because the whole thing with a VCR was they were made to record TV shows. Nobody thought about writing movies or recording football games just TV shows. That's why Sony thought a one hour tape would be adequate. Turns out they were dead wrong. That's that's yeah. um, so now. Did you have to have somebody on standby? Like, if you had a movie you wanted to watch and you were at work and you're recording this, hey, oh, pop yeah, that other tape in. I had friends <laughs> back then in the early days, and I mean 1976, 77, 78, we did a lot of trading by mail. I had a lot of friends that had HBO, Showtime, that ran uncut movies, and they also had one hour beta maxes. So, if they wanted to tape the eight o'clock movie on HBO for me, they would run a tape from eight to nine. Then the second night, they were running tape from 9 to 10 to get the second hour. And that's how I got Uncut Movies. Wow. Sweet. And it worked. Sweet. Yeah. So you could even record our show, because it's a two-hour show, <laughs> and trade it to people. Right. Well, if you and wanted I'd to. And i probably record it on beta. Yeah. It's cool. <laughs> well, now let's see now. Somebody, now I know I did a little research, because uh -huh. I do my research. And I know you said you got your first beta machine. was $1,200. Mm -hmm. But you had your eye on another one. Right, and they're a little steep back then. It wasn't like a twenty-five hundred dollar one you really wanted. Yeah, that's the big one. Which you, you want to swing the camera around and show it? This is the very first Betamax. We call it the Betamax console. This is what they say began the home video revolution. 
This is $2,500. They gave you a 19-inch Sony Trinitron TV, and under here is the very first one-hour Betamax, the SL6200, SL which recorded only one-hour tapes. All that for an hour? One hour. <laughs> That's right. In $1975. This came out in 1975. Wow. I remember my dad had a TV from a, some, you know, somewhere in the 70s and it had a remote control and he right. would hit it and this knob, I don't know if that's the thing, but it would go chong, 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 chong. That's what they did, yeah. Right. But this is actually very well engineered because even with the first Betamax, you record a channel here while you're watching, where is it? Wrong one. You're watching a second channel on this tuner while you're recording on this tuner. And you can record from either the TV or flip this over and plug in a black and white camera. And it had a timer. With uh, 24 hours in advance, you could record a show within the next 24 hours. Very wow. well engineered for 1975. That's pretty sweet. And yeah. That's kind of like NASA. <laughs> it's a beautiful piece of furniture, too. Nothing works. The TV shot, the beta oh. is broken, but it, it looks nice. It does look nice. I'm hanging on to it. That's yeah. sweet. Mm -hmm. So how many... Beta machines. So oh, there we go. See, I'm getting. I'm getting fed. You're getting there. <laughs> How many beta machines do you have? Since you're the video holic, self-proclaimed video holic. Right now, I well, let's count them. I have one. These are two Japanese machines. Two, three. This is the Marantz. Marantz actually made one Betamax. That's four. That's five. That's my original SL7200 from 1976. Ooh. Recorded a lot of tapes original. that are up on that wall. So that's six. Over here, we have some more. This is seven, eight, nine, ten. This is a Toshiba portable, and I actually have one on loan, an SLHS750, that's 11, and they all work. So I, like I have 11 one. right now. That one's tiny, I like that one. Yeah, that's a, that's a portable. That, one around. Yeah. that actually runs on battery. Oh, okay. That's a portable. What? So I, I was gonna say, I see a lot of uh, color codes and, and things here. How, do you have these uh, different categories Absolutely. so you know what you're looking Absolutely. at here? Absolutely. The way this is set up, and here we go. The way this is set up is these are color coded with the Dymo label tape because back in the 70s, Dymo label maker was a labeling method of choice. All the blue labels are TV shows, red are movies, red labels are movies, and then anything that doesn't fit there is green. For example, here's a video a friend of mine in Detroit shot of an, a radio reunion in 1985. That's in green. Uh, my best friend and I talk about the 80s. That's in green. Uh, tape about bloopers, that's in green, that kind of thing. So these are actually color-coded. After I got done with Dymo, I went to the Brother P-Touch, and I kind of kept the same way. Uh, red are movies, blue are TV shows, and then black was for anything else instead of green. And ultimately, I went to labeling on a computer. This is so much easier and so much faster. You do have a fine collection, because I Thank know you. you even have Superboy. Oh, heck yeah. Uh -huh. I was oh. just thinking about Superboy. I got a lot of stuff. <laughs> I bet. Yeah. If I look too here, I might have to hang out over here, because okay. you got a lot of, a lot of cool That's shows. okay. I, I get a headache looking at this, but I, I like how you have them this way, too, so you don't get a headache. Actually, you can actually read them and sit Well, you know what? Like they, this. they always told us, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that, we have to store tapes like this vertically. It's better for the reels or something. Well, you really can't read it too well, so I've been storing tape, my tapes like this since 1976, and guess what? It doesn't hurt them. They work just fine. You won't believe how good some of these old tapes from the 1970s still look on TV. You think you're watching live TV, and well, that's it's, not an exaggeration. It's, it's a lot easier to read them this way. Well, of course it is. That's, I, why, that's why I like DVD, because you're like this. Right. Well, that's why they, they're stacked up like this, well, that's so you excellent. can read them. Absolutely. Now, how, but how, now, let's see. Now, is there like a, like a master catalog somewhere if you want to look something up, or do you stay in here and go, uh, no, you know? No, I have to do this. You do that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well. But uh, <laughs> let me see where it is. Hmm. Somewhere in here. Yeah, let's let's test them. Pick up, <laughs> find a movie and, and find Somewhere in here that. I have. Uh, can't find it. Okay. There's actually a tape where I actually I take a one. video camera and go like this, box by box. So if I want to find something, rather than go up to the wall, I'll play it on the Betamax and watch it on my TV to find the tape. All right. Well, That's how about how a quick works. test? <laughs> a qu the movie Gargoyles. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> TV movie Gargoyles. It's movie up there on week. DVD in the third uh, row. Don't cheat. I know. <laughs> <laughs> movie of the week. Movie of the movie love, of the week because we love them. You know the old movies of the week. Of course I do. We love those. Of course I do. Gargoyles. Yeah. We're testing them right now. Look at that. There it is. No. no. What? No, I was going to say. It's skyjacked. <laughs> skyjacked. Oh. Yeah. See, I put you right on the. I put your feet to the flames. 
You well, sure if you can't did. find it, I'll borrow it off you later. <laughs> <laughs> but that is awesome. Thank I wish you. my basement looked, you know, I have, uh, I don't even talk about my basement. <laughs> my wife's already still don't talk about my basement. Yeah. I can't find anything. <laughs> I was trying to find a tape today I was going to bring over here. Yeah. Could not find it. I know I just saw it a couple days ago. Well, there are a lot of tapes on this wall. There's over 2,000. It takes a while to find a shirt and one if I'm looking for it. And, and, it, it, and it was it was a lot bigger. Yeah, I I, I knew that. Yeah, you 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 uh, you I met somebody that you I guys met been... somebody. There was a seventh row up here, which actually stretched the whole length of this wall, and that's how many tapes my friend took. Yeah. The guy named Mike. He lives in Solon. He loves old video formats, and he loves TV and and movies. And um, he took my tapes that I didn't need because I now have them on DVD. So no sense having them in two formats. All right. Well, I guess uh, we're gonna come back because I got okay. some more questions Very for you. Cool. We gotta go to the movie. Okay. And then we're, we're gonna hold his feet. I want to find that gargoyle. So <laughs> but right now we're gonna go to the movie, okay. and we'll be back with more with Ray in a little bit.